Star Wars. Marvel. Mecca. And more. This is Star Wars Phantom B. Hello guys and welcome back to our source figure review for today's source figure review we're going to take a look at a special figure that is from the Ewok animated series again the one that I got at the convention that is Knisa um, she's very tiny it's a very cool figure I really like it it's the only one from the Ewok pack that I really wanted uh, she has a very cute face <laughs> uh, that's something I really like and the pink headdress is also something I really like her full name is, I'm gonna pronounce this, is Knisa A. Jerry Kentaka, or something like that. You can read on Wikipedia. And as I already said, she is from the Ewoks animated series, um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, she comes with a couple of accessories. I do not have any bags to show you guys, but she does come with a couple of accessories. Uh, that is accessories that were in the bag of the figure so I'm not sure if that are the real accessories that came with the figure but she comes with this kind of Ewok uh, battle staff thing so you have that and then you have a second head dress for this figure as you can see uh, and I'm not sure if this is correct but it was in there so I yeah it's, it's here now um, then uh, going over to detailing, like I said, a very cool, cute figure. Uh, it, as you can see, as you can see, that face sculpt is very nicely done. Uh, very nice, you know, kind of um, looks very friendly when you look at it. Very cool. Uh, and you got this blue feather on her headdress, which I quite like. You have the pink headdress, which has all those kind of details sculpted in. Very nice. Then uh, going over to her body, she has kind of a rope attached to her or wrapped around her with a extra weapon attached, uh, which is again a rock that she can throw to stormtroopers or whatever. Uh, and the rest of it is basically fur, a gray fur, fur, fur. <laughs> uh, I can't pronounce fur in English, it seems, uh, but gray is it? It is. <coughs> Um, but yeah, overall, it's a very cool figure, detail-wise, I really like it. It's a nice addition to any Ewok collection. Uh, it does have some cool, decent articulation for being Ewok. It has a swivel head, uh, ball-hinged elbow, uh, shoulders, no elbow articulation. Uh, some of the vintage collection figures, like Low Grey and Wicked, had some articulation in the elbows, if I'm not mistaken. She does not have that, but not a big deal. She has swivel wrists, she has ball hinged um, hips, which is very cool. Uh, no articulation in the torso though. And she has ball hinged uh, ankles, so actually pretty good articulation for such a small figure. If you compare it to a uh, other figure here, for example, Protocol Droid, it's like double the size of that one. But um, very cool figure, I really like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review on Knisa, Knisa, and I will back to more of these very soon. So until then, keep collecting, and may the force be with you. Bye.